Unseen it. Unseen radio. You're listening to Veg Music Review Corner on Unseen Radio. Hello, my name's Ben Edge. We want to know what you think of this song. It's by a band called The Lost Children. The song is called Shenanigans. <laughs> The Lost Children. We're going to ask our three guests what they think of that. We also want to know what you think of that. So get in touch as soon as they finish doing panoramic shots of the studio. <laughs> Just get out of the way. Sorry, it didn't even work. <laughs> That's yeah, really well, it's karma that is, Adam. Sorry. Yeah, we'll start with our first guest today because he seems so well prepared. Is Adam ah. Fitch, local filmmaker, busybody. Local filmmaker, <laughs> not even introduced as a um, music. Uh, he is awesome. Best. And sex pest. Music yeah. sex pest. I mean, I'm not even known as a sex pest. I need to do some more sex pesting. <laughs> well, yeah, what do you think of The Lost Children? Um, the shenanigans. I. It wasn't anything new for me at all. Like, it, was, it wasn't bad at all. Um, mm. I feel like. I could hear that by a hundred different bands. Um, oh, gosh. No, that's not harsh, is it? <laughs> no, I'm I am um, quite disappointed with you, Adam. Why is that? <laughs> I co- oh, I, I loved it. <laughs> First song in the Next. <laughs> um, no, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't my thing. Um, I feel like the vocalist probably would lose his voice in a gig if he tried to do that. I don't think I, that didn't sound like he was using the right technique to me at all. So we should take that on board, uh, just saying. Te- technique. Come on, it's a recording, it's not a live performance. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's all right then. 
Yeah, that's why to turn this into a debate, but like, <laughs> but that's the way, that's the way I look at it. Like, I can't sing any of my songs. Yeah, do we, like, yeah, I'll still be mean. Yeah, in your in, when you, once you get when you get in the studio, like, yeah, get it out like the best you can, and you, you might not be able to replicate that pro- like properly. Yeah, in a live performance, but I feel like I've been harsh now. That wasn't bad at all. So sorry. Well, personally, yeah. I I like any band from Corby. Regardless of how good their music is, because I don't want to be stabbed in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> you are for making that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I've, no, I've got a lot of respect for them because they've managed to save up for ten years and buy a guitar. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 I'm looking at it. So. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like it. Yeah, all right, this is uh, Carl Phillips now. Is our second guest. Lost Children, Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Is that the name of the, the album? Is it? That's the name of the song. The, the name of the song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. yeah. I mean, it's not really my cup of tea, but nothing really is. So, like, I was. I don't really know where you got me here to be honest <laughs> I'm just going to say that about every song you pay me <laughs> I feel a bit like but, I feel like I've been harsh now no no you've been you've been like you know can I just say right. I literally don't really like any music well same here actually oh yeah. man so you're making me of... look so good because I'm going to be really nice right about everyone and you two are just going to be like oh no and you'd be like oh, oh, behind your shoulders over there. Well, I'm not... I, did, I didn't mind it though like, I thought, yeah, I thought the music yeah, was right. decent right. but I, I, it was there was something about a devil yeah, that was yeah, that really, was I really feeling that lyric, but yeah. that's just because, you know, You're not into that shit. No, not into any, any anything that mentions, you know, I'm I'm, I'm deeply religious, and um, when when it comes to like anything, you know, either re- like talking about God, Jesus, or the devil, well, I just don't like to get involved because like, you know, you never know what's gonna come around the corner, you never know what's gonna gonna come and. Now, do you see what you've done here, Carl? Come out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> confused us. <laughs> Bed, come to me. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Lau, Lau Masuk. He's back again. We can't it's, get rid of him. It's uh... <laughs> well, but you could because I've only been back once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I quite enjo- enjoyed it. There was a throwback to um, early nineties hardcore band uh, Helmet, which was one of my favourite bands. Yeah. You know, there's a definite element to that. It, the recording sounded a little bit weird. Like, I think we discussed whilst the track yeah. was playing that it didn't sound like it was mastered properly mm-hmm. or mastered at all. You know, because, was, yeah, it was because, very light. Yeah. Like, you're so professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's kind of what small, I do. That's, that's all I want to comment on. Yeah. It's just like, it's so professional. If a small band goes into a studio and they... I've never been in a big band. I've always been in a small band. So if I go into a studio, you, you say you record two songs in a day, you expect it to be mixed and mastered on a day, but you can't do that. You've got to have another day for yeah, each track, really. So like, I can't blame them. I think it was good. Uh, the, the song was good. It had a good scr- structure and stuff. You know, come back to the point about mention- mentioning the devil or Satan or whatever it was, and that was a little bit like, ugh. unless they're going for like, unless we're into Monster Magnet and it's that that's a focus that they really want to be into. Do you know what I mean? Like mentioning that sort of stuff. But I liked it. I did like it. But I just think it was was it cliche? Maybe it, I don't mm, know. It reminded me a bit of um, Gallows, but with like yeah. not the same. Passion as Frank Carter had. Yeah, right. It was kind of, which again, like, it's not an insult because that's pretty difficult to do, but, um. Yeah. It had passion. There's definitely passion yeah. there. You can record passion, that's true, but. Oh, yeah, but you can have a passionate wank. <laughs> You can always, you can, you can always do that, yeah. There's not necessarily any actual, you know, would you would you light a candle and there are some flowers when <laughs> like when you, you had a, a series of like like your dinner place with your like pot noodles and on the other side just a series of wank mags or, or stuff yeah, that exactly. you can choose from. No, so, so, uh, passion is all uh, we all like passion and I'm not I'm not even saying it's a, it's a it's a terrible tune I'm just saying passion is a compliment in terms yeah, of yeah. a song is not well, necessarily that. a compliment because you know like I said yeah you can have a passionate wank and it's not really going anywhere. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's well, there is kind of a final thing that happens when you have a passionate <laughs> masturbation, <laughs> Carl. But yeah, anyway, yeah, it was um, it was a good track. Coming back to the track because I think that's what yeah. we're talking about. This <laughs> next track is by. <laughs> Are we moving on to the next track now? Yeah. Seamless, oh. isn't it? It's seamless. <laughs> Exactly. By a duo called So Deaf. But are they so deaf? Or are they actually quite good at it? I think I know them boys, actually. No, I think I know them from somewhere. So, yeah, better be, better be quite nice. And the song is called Do For Love. And it's free. <laughs> Everyone loves free music. We do. Mm. Every little thing, baby. Oh. 
three from the duo So Deaf. Let's go to Lau first. What do you think of that? I quite enjoyed it. it uh, no, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. it as um, Adam was saying off off uh, off mic, that um, it does sound like music that when you're coming back from a gig, you're listening to it on like, London radio stations. So like, it's got a place. It's got a vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> Hard romantic. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to lose my job, baby. <laughs> Carl, what do you think? <clears throat> of us, uh, so deaf. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm wicked mates with them, so, you know. Well, you're not really it. that wicked mates. I'm wicked mates, mate. Wicked <laughs> you mates, don't mate. even know where you know. I think we even, went, we even went to school or something like that. You know? <laughs> so, so close. Yeah, you know, I definitely know <laughs> them. I've got them on Facebook. So, you know. I know them. <laughs> Go on Facebook, mate. You know what I mean? so, Hang on a minute, I'm friends with the pet shop on my living room. It was a cool tune. I like a bit of house. So yeah, like yeah, it was good. It was good stuff. Like I think I think you nailed it in the head, though. Yeah, it's that, like without sounding insulting, you stick the radio on at two o'clock in the morning when you're coming back from a gig, or you know if you're not in a band, you're coming back from shagging someone else's missus or whatever. Yep. Then you stick on the radio and. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly what you you hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from the conscious like voice in your own head, <laughs> so I'm telling you that you're an absolute wanker. That's that's what that's what you hear. You hear that music. Oh, I love it. Uh, right, Adam. Seeing as your comments have been stolen by both of these. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Let's have like, coming uh, back at two in the morning from a game. Yeah, Adam. What was your opinion? Don't repeat what we said. Okay. Otherwise, then um, it reminded me a bit of the music on Streets of Rage. Two. Two? Is that, that one with the roller skates? Yeah. That's a wicked game. Yeah, I think it sounded a bit like, you know, only coming back from a gig at 2am. Like, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, there was, production was alright. Mm. It was good. It was um, not my thing, but if that's what you're into, you'd like it. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you mind yourself having a dance to it? Okay. I can imagine myself pressing Heart FM at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'd have a dance to that <laughs> all, all day long. If, if I'd just been like tripping out off, off my nut on MDMA. Ben, yeah, ben like, do you know when like, you said to, who wants to come on the review show? And I said, I'll oh, only go on it if Carl Phillips goes on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you said he was involved, what's a full house? Why don't we just do this every week? <laughs> <laughs> ben, next question. <laughs> next track. We have a band called Soldier. They were involved in the, uh, the new wave of British heavy metal back in the late 70s. So yeah, as we've been saying, quite dad rock, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's from their album Dogs of War, and the song is called I Can't Breathe. But will it be suffocating our guest today?
Right, Soldier, I Can't Breathe, that's taken from that album, Dogs of War. We'll go to Carl first. We haven't gone to you first. All right, mate. Um, well, yeah. What do you think? I think, I think, it, like, yeah, I Can't Breathe. If only he couldn't breathe, <laughs> then maybe we wouldn't have had to put ourselves through that <laughs> diabolical excuse of a song. That's all I can say right now, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. I thought about halfway through the song just because I thought, yeah, like, that's, that's the only thing I'm going to say about that song. But no, that no, was all right, it was all right. And I saw the video as well, and the bloke had a decent haircut. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he's he had no hair. Yeah, exactly. No my, hair. my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't realise you had no haircut. No, it literally, it doesn't even grow in the middle anymore. Jesus. Yeah, don't even grow. Been don't even been bloody grow. Been here in a couple of months then. Yeah, you've actually got a bit of a receipt, haven't you? A bit? Yeah. <laughs> look, no. I had that. Look, look at my... Look at my look. How old are you, Carl? 27. Oh, yeah. But it started going at the back first. Yeah, well, it must thinning there, look. Yeah, yeah, that's how it started. That's how it started, mate. And then, um, next thing you know, just shave it all off. It's, be it's best for everyone. Yeah, it will do. <laughs> I will do. Every so often I do shave it off, but you know, sometimes I, let her, I like to try and hang on to it. Yeah, no, no, I know all about that, mate. Well, some people wear hats to like cover up the fact that they're like bald, but like personally, yeah. I, I think them sort of people are complete twats. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, right, soldier. Yes, Lau. Well, uh, a soldier, soldier is uh, one who uh, fights as part of an organised land-based armed force. Have you got that written down, Lau? Are you yeah. reading that, Lau? No, no, reading that. no. no. Yeah. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Wait, you got your phone turned on? No, I'm, just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking at what the weather's going to be like <laughs> in Ipswich. And uh, if that force is hired, they hire a person like uh, professionally, that's called a mercenary. Uh, also, the majority of cognates uh, of the word soldier um, that exist uh, in other languages have the meaning that embraces both commissioned and non-commissioned officer, Ben. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. But, coming back to the song, I remember Soldier from the 80s. and remind me a little bit of Angel Witch, although Angel Witch were a little bit heavier. It's another 80s metal band. They've got a good... Uh, from Northamptonshire. Well, no, Ben no. Gordelia is from Northamptonshire. Uh, Pete Gordelia is from Northamptonshire. But yeah, it's great. Like, I no, like that throwback that sort of stuff. Is that the same band? No, Angel Witch was... Uh, oh, right, Pete okay, Gordelia yeah, was sorry, an Angel yeah. Witch. Um, but I like that throwback. You know, I like the fact that these people are still doing their thing. You know, it kind of hurt anyone. And that was my diplomatic thing to get you in trouble. <laughs> right, Antoine. Thank you, Wiki. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. Um, it wasn't like my cup of tea. Um, what is your cup of tea? How many sugars? <laughs> I'm trying to cut it out. Really? So like half a sugar. I'm yeah. going down a bit at a time. Black as well. No, that's the worst. But thing. you have got a no sugars and black. I think for the kind of music it is, it's quite overproduced. Uh, harsh, mm, really no, harsh. Not yeah. Really, uh, so horrible. Mm, <laughs> I um, no, it was right. <laughs> it was alright. And the thing about these kind of bands are, I can imagine doing that when I was forty. So good on them, because oh, you will be. Yeah, I know I will be. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm doing it now. <laughs> See, this is the weird thing, right? This is the weird thing about music today, right? Like these are music, music from like people that we remember from back in the day or before we were born. What is the music going to be like when we're old and there'll be someone else being Ben in a in like a review show later on and we'll be there rocking out. Carl, you'll be spitting like yeah, yeah. You'll be like yeah, I'm still I'm still centre stage. Like, well, not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have any air, but like I like, just go yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've the Zimmer frame and stuff. And people are like, this is rubbish, man. And you remember like no, it's, it's brilliant. But that's our generation. We can be listening to Firestarter by the Podgy yeah. when we. Like fifty or yeah, sixty, no, and that's why. Yeah. Remember these? Remember they? They're sitting there going, "We took too much." I think, it's, uh, I think it's probably you're probably right though. It's weird, isn't it? Because like you know, people like yeah, I've listened to rap and stuff like that since I don't know. I reckon, I reckon, I hope rap will be timeless. Well, not, yeah, not the rap that we, not, not the rap that's coming right. out in the last ten years, but like you know, classic. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, you call it classic now, but I don't know if there's even a such thing as classic rap. I think there is. Now, there is, of course, yeah, there is. There is now, I suppose, but that's only because the last ten years has been so terrible, terribly diabolically. But bad, yeah, like yeah. you know, Tupac and stuff, and you know, stuff mm. like Biggie and you know, even some of Snoop Dogg stuff is always going to be classic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to think that when by the time we're in our seventies, there'll still be people doing what we're. Like, oh, it's weird, got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, but you never know though like that that yeah like like you were saying people might look at that like that's that's like yeah, old could, school yeah, yeah. like country bumpkin sort of yeah wank. yeah what is that sort <laughs> of stuff yeah. Yeah. And, like, and then and then there's some stuff we can't even imagine that that 
comes out. But in, what will it be? Will it be just like me that just plug a yeah, diode yeah. into your brain? <laughs> and go, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, I love that yeah, tune. Yeah, God knows. After, who knows? Who bloody knows? But and also make like, a time capsule. What? And yeah. send it into the future to find out what they're listening to. That's how it works. You need a time machine. Uh, anyway, Ben, back to yeah. you. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Thank ben. you. Yeah, does anyone have anything more to add about anything? Right, yeah, we should ask you, what's been your favourite track of the night? We've played uh, Shenanigans by The Lost Children. They're from Ketman and Corby, quite a rock man. Uh, we played Do For Love by So Deaf, and that's free. And uh, yeah, we do like free on this show. And then I Can't Breathe by Soldier from their album Dogs of War. I'm going to go for the first one because I kind of like that track. That Lost Children. Yeah, what? Lost Children. Adam, what's, what was your favourite track of the night, do you think? Um, Come on. Um, All right, Carl, what was yours? <laughs> well, my, my, my favourite track of the night was um, So Deaf's. What's it? Because like, I'm, I'm the big buddies boys. with them. Yeah, I'm buddies with them boys. <laughs> you don't know why you okay, yeah, no, Adam, I'm yeah. giving you a moment. I'm going to say... Um, Soldier, because <laughs> that was the last got, person on the list. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're the only one left because they got heart, but they're still doing it. Yeah, word up. Yeah, and they and they, and they can't breathe. <laughs> so you got to support someone who can't breathe <laughs> you, you know medically. I mean? yeah. <laughs> but can they not just get free um, prescriptions on the NHS now? They're old, right? Well, for resuscitation old. prescriptions. Yes, I didn't realise they did them actually, but uh, if they do, then You're great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, free bus pass, free TV license, free resuscitation. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. free license to rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know we had to pay for resuscitations. We will in a couple of years. If it's all school or political. Oh, sorry, sorry. In America, I think you do. Yeah, you, you do, do actually, yeah. yeah. And if the Do you really have to pay for to be resuscitated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's two grand, care. about two thousand dollars. And I people who, who have there was a big story that um uh it was this woman and she she had a heart attack and she didn't have help medical insurance and they took her there and they resuscitated her, they woke her up and it's like Boink, two grand, please. Seriously, and right, that was so. it. And that's not even the the medication or anything like that. It's just ways. Obamacare for yeah. love. Can I just say, if you keep voting Tory, we're going to have that in like yeah. two more terms. So I'd like to thank all my guests, Lal, Adam, and Carl, for joining me today. Uh, thanks to all the tracks we played. Check out everything else that's happening here on Unseen Radio. And uh, join me again next week when we'll have some more guests and we'll be reviewing some more tunes and we'll have some more laughs, hopefully. Oh, and I'll be you. here also next week as well to uh, to, to continue this. And Adam's going to be in. I've been invited well. back, so I'm yeah, feeling yeah. about this. So we'll, we'll all see you next week. Maybe it'll be as funny as it was today. The right? power Thanks. of the edit. Is that possible? See you next week, guys. Thanks for coming. Over and out. Cheers.